Greetings and welcome back to EdTech Moment, where we take just a moment to help you integrate technology into your classroom. I'm your host, Tim McKean, and today I'd like to talk to you about using your remote control for your classroom projector. Many times a teacher finds themselves in a position where they're using the classroom projector to show something uh, to their students, like instructions or a video or a presentation, and then they need to do something where they don't want the students to see, like maybe they need to update something in the grade book or take attendance or uh, check an email. And many times I've seen teachers go through the, the laborious process of either turning off the projector or disconnecting the computer from the projector completely just so that the kids don't see uh, what they're doing on the computer. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of buttons that you can use on your remote control that will help you do this much more efficiently. The first button we're going to look at is the mute button, or sometimes it might say blank. When I'm showing something on my screen to my students and I press the blank button, it simply blacks out the screen so that nothing is visible. This is a great tool if I need to quickly check an email, update something in the gradebook, or simply put in a password. This is really useful for me when I'm projecting from my iPad. And if those of you that have used an iOS device know that when you're typing in a password on an iOS device, the letters are visible for about a second. And so if you're on the projector, your students would be able to see uh, your password as you're logging into a site or something like that. So I can quickly hit the mute button, it blacks out, I type in my password and hit mute again and it comes back. So this way, my password, my private data has been kept safe without having to disconnect or turn off the projector. The other button that can be very useful in this way is the freeze button, or sometimes it might say pause. And what this button does is, if I'm showing an image on the screen and I hit freeze, it simply freezes that image and it leaves it on the screen and allows me to do other things on the computer. In this example, my students have just finished watching a tutorial video on editing their audio drama. Now, instead of letting the video finish and closing down and seeing the rest of what's on my computer, I can simply freeze this image right here by pressing the freeze button. And now this image will stay up so that they're reminded of what they're working on. And I can close this out. I can open up the gradebook, adjust some grades. Uh, this is something that actually happens to me almost on a daily basis is when I want to put uh, some class instructions or a daily agenda up on the screen and then I'll freeze it so the instructions can stay up on the screen while I log into my gradebook and take attendance. Again, every day I need to take attendance at the beginning of class. While I don't want the students to see the attendance process, but I do want them to see the daily agenda. I do want them to see the instructions on what they need to be working on. So it's very, very convenient for me to put the instructions up, freeze the image there, and then I can go into the gradebook. I can take attendance. This can also be a great tool for cleanly transitioning from one activity to the other. For example, the example I showed uh, with the video. If you're finishing one presentation, you can freeze the image on the last slide of that presentation, and now your students don't see as you're preparing the next thing. Maybe you've got a video to show, or maybe you've got a demonstration, or maybe you've got another presentation that you want to move into. Uh, your students don't have to see the behind the scenes work of preparing the next thing. Get it ready, unfreeze the image, and you're ready to go again. Here we have some photographs of remotes from various projectors, and you can see the variety of terms that are used on the remotes. As we look through them, this one has a freeze button and an AV mute button. And the next one has a freeze and a blank. And on the third one on the Samsung, we get even different terminology here. We get a still button and a black button. But on your remote, whatever remote you might have with your projector, I'm sure you're going to be able to find something that does uh, a freeze or a pause on the image um, and something that either says mute or blank that will just blank out the screen and not show anything at all. Both of these buttons can be a great tool to help you be more efficient and be more effective when you're using your computer on a classroom projector. Thanks as always for watching EdTech Moment. Please visit our site at edtechmoment.com. Subscribe to our feed in iTunes or our YouTube channel to be automatically updated whenever new episodes are available. Follow us on Twitter at EdTechMoment and send your questions to feedback at EdTechMoment.com. And once again, for 
uh, you, the viewers of EdTech Moment Podcast, audible.com has a special offer so that you can get a free audiobook and a free one month trial. Simply go to audibletrial.com slash edtechmoment to download your book. And of course, thank you for taking a moment.